are World War II veterans. Part 2. The Home Front. Propaganda in World War II. Propaganda in World War II is systematic manipulation of public opinion. Propaganda in World War II was used to motivate people in the war to continue fighting and continue supporting the war. War bonds. To drum up support, the U.S. government used advertising methods, such as posters with bright colored art brimming with patriotic images, to stir Americans to buy bonds. Staff Sergeant Anthony Hovinsky, U.S. Army Air Corps, World War II. My position See that airplane there? Mm -hmm. Used to evacuate on the front line, you mean, or in, in Burma, evacuate the wounded, carry medical supplies, whatever, whatever them small planes could do. They were all little flies, mostly, that we had. Okay. Well, one time I flew to a note where they were fighting, I know, the outskirts of the battlefield, and uh, I landed, and I had uh, medical supplies um, for the soldiers out in the field, and uh, well, I, when I landed there, one of the fellows says, will you wait for a, a fellow that was just wounded? He said it was late in the afternoon and we were supposed to be at our base a half hour before it got dark. Well, it was almost that time already and this fellow asked me if I'd wait for this or wounded soldier, and I said, yes, I'll wait for him. Well, there was a law that they had, I don't know if it was for the whole United States Army or not, but I said yes. Well, we were told to be at our base a half an hour before it got dark. Well, I waited a half an hour for him. It was almost dark then. When I got back to the base, it was dark. And uh, they didn't like it. <laughs> trouble. Did you get in a lot of trouble? Yeah, I got in trouble. <laughs> oh. The next day, I was out of room. Oh. <laughs> Massive support. There was huge support of the war. Motivation posters were hung everywhere. Men were encouraged to join in the fighting. During World War II, rationing control, distribution of scarce resources, goods, and service. Rationing it controlled the amount of person, pe person was allotted of the resource. How old were you? In this here picture? 20. About 30 years old. No, you couldn't have been. 25. 25, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it had to be 25. Because yeah. he's going to be 75, what? and he's going to be 100 in a month and. In that picture. In Guys, in that picture. Who's in that picture with you? Or who's the picture of in the picture? The Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see. I don't know who, who was it. Yeah, that was mom. You were holding the picture of mom, and mom had a picture, or the picture of his wife, mm -hmm. Jean, holding baby Bob, because he never saw him until he was nine months old. Boomtowns. Boomtowns were industrial centers. One example, the city of Richmond, California grew from a population of under 24,000 to over 100,000 during the war. 
Lots of factory was turned into machinery industries. When they made tanks, warplanes, etc., women stepped in and and worked these two. During World War II, nothing cost a dollar. Wool suits cost 19 cents. Gasoline cost 20 cents a gallon. And flour cost 88 cents. In World War II, one dollar then would be $18.70 now. What about the mortar? The mortar shell? The mortar shell? Yeah, that was close to from right by my belly. Oh, wow. Can you imagine that, you guys? And it kept on going, never went on. It was a dud. So did you get a purple heart? It what didn't. Was that? Did you get a purple heart? No. He wasn't. I there. wasn't wounded. Luckily, right? <laughs> but if he didn't turn, he would have been wounded. Very wounded. Yes. Even though it, it was coming right for me, and I just turned my body halfway around. The room. Wow. It touched my belly, but really it did. That's, wow. That's scary. But it kept on going, never went on. So, how lucky can you be? That's Those left on home front were encouraged to grow their own food. Fruit trees were grown. They had grapes, apples, pears, and peaches. And root cellars were used to store fruits and vegetables. Near the end of World War II, there were approximately 20 million Victory Gardens pr producing 40% of the food. Victory Gardens, World War II. The gardens could consist potatoes, tomatoes, onions, beans, peas, cabbages, zucchinis, beets, sweet potatoes, squash, 